Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden Cheese as always. Got another full breakdown for you guys. I try to put out at least one full breakdown of a playbook a month. Uh, these are things that are typically on just my Patreon and my Join Now community. Uh, there's a lot more on there than there are on here, but once a month I try to give you guys an entire offensive breakdown. And this month it's going to be the Ravens. Now, the Ravens, in my opinion, might be the best running playbook in the game. There's so many formations in here that can't be found anywhere else, including the one I'm going to start off with, which is the Power Eye Strong. That is such an overpowered formation. So, uh, if you're a running player, this is definitely one of the best playbooks to use in the game. Before I get into the video, though, if you guys want to do me a favor and you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my videos. It helps out my channel. So, if you want to show support, you can show it that way. And if you like what you see, make sure you stick around. Other than that, you, let me know in the comment section what playbook you would like to see done next month and by next month i mean december because this is going to take place i know it's october but this is going to be my november release i'm just releasing it a couple days early because of halloween happy halloween by the way hope you guys have a safe holiday and a good holiday with your family whatever you're doing if you're going trick-or-treating you're going to party whatever i uh, hope it's a good holiday and stay safe other than that let's go let's get right into the video next up out of the strong power eye we have the halfback blast This play right here, you just want to flip it uh, with the right stick to the right side, and uh, it's a pretty consistent play. I mean, you're either going to get outside here. I mean, I probably could have got more out of there. That guy came out of nowhere. It's probably Bobby Wagner. Let's go ahead and let's do that again. Like I said, we're just flipping it, and uh, sometimes the hole's going to be inside, sometimes it's going to be outside, but you can see there's so much blocking. If I could have just made that one dude miss, I would have been gone. So, wasn't a very good run last year. I don't think the blocking AI, AI was on point, uh, but this year it seems like they fixed it. Uh, and like I said, you really have a couple different options, but you can see there's holes. Next up, we got the halfback toss. Another play here, you know, not a lot of motion needed. I, I think it's not a bad idea to motion out some of these guys, um, you know, just to kind of define them a little bit more. Uh, but you can see, I mean, like if you if you leave them in the backfield, I mean, they still get to where their block's going. And I think ultimately that's the best way to run it. Next up, we got the PA Looch Special. So on this play, you just want to motion out Goddard, uh, the fullback, or the uh, one of the two fullbacks, rather. Uh, put him on a streak. Uh, and he's going to pull the uh, the safety inside enough that this uh, X route is going to beat it outside. If you run it from the open side of the field, you get a little bit of a catch and run. You're going for a one-play touchdown. Next up, we got the Power O. This play here, I mean, you really can't do much. Um, so it's just, you know, it's just another straight run play. Uh, but you can see the blocking is terrific. Like I said last year, they didn't really seem to know where they were going. But this year, uh, they do a much better job, uh, and especially when it comes to getting downfield. Now, there was a little messed up because I lost my acceleration. Except we got the four verticals. This is just a really good uh, designed... Uh, this is just a really good design cover to play, and it's because the A route there is kind of pulling in. Uh, and that's going to pull the safety in enough that this B route outside here um, can, you know, if you bullet and pass lead outside, you can create a big play against cover two. And that's pretty much all she wrote. So I'm just going to basically, pretty much every time, it's going to be once he gets past the cornerback, bullet, pass lead away. If you don't get the throw, though, uh, it's not going to work out. Next up, we got the Y shallow cross. Against cover two, the B route here, uh, just because of the spread of the play, is going to uh, it's going to beat it outside. It's another play. I mean, no no adjustments needed. You just have to bullet uh, bullet and uh, pass lead to the outside. Um, against cover four, uh, you're going to want to put um, the B route on a smoke route, and the uh, I should have blocked the running back too. But the X route here, as I get sacked because I didn't block the running back, but the X route was getting going. We'll run out again. He said you're definitely going to need to at least block this uh, running back. You could also, since this route's not really doing anything, you could always motion him in and motion snap him or you know, motion block him. Um, but you need blocking. So basically, like I said, we're just waiting for that X route to clear. You can see right there, it gets right behind those safeties. And we have a cover, a cover four, one play touchdown. Next up, we got the halfback counter.
It's another counter run. I mean, this formation as a whole is a really good running formation. You can see, um, you know, but like you're just kind of, like I said, you're reading that crash defender right there. At least that's what I call it sometimes. Um, this is just a really good uh, single replay. Just reading the defensive end a lot of times. Right here, we got that cover through safety in the box. So, you know, you got to watch that too. But ultimately, it's just reading that edge defender. If he if he runs in like he does here, you got to short it and go inside. If he if he hesitates, you have the option to go outside. Next up, we got the power option. Here's another play. It's a speed play. Um, there, you know, you're going to have that back. Uh, blocking for you, which is nice. I, I, got, I should put a fullback back, but you can see, I mean, uh, you know, you hit the left bumper button to, or the L1 button to get that ball out. Last minute, hold as long as possible. Um, some of the animations I'm getting, I mean, last year you wouldn't get these animations where you're flipping the play out. So this is a really good, uh, really good animation uh, upgrade they got here. Uh, works really well if you're if the defender hesitates like he did there, and uh, we just have some really explosive runs. Next up, we got the Stretch Alert X Looky. Another run play. I'm not really throwing to the to the uh, receiver too much. It's just these uh, these these RPOs are just really really good at for whatever reason making defenders hesitate all over the field or uh, you know for whatever reason. So I just find that it's a good stretch run, obviously, uh, and then there's some good runs to the outside. Uh, but I'm never really. I mean, I'm treating this pretty much as a, as a pure stretch. I'm never really uh, throwing it to that receiver. Next up, we got the triple option switch. So this is a play right here. I mean, you can you can hand it off right up the center. Um, so this play right here, I mean, you can hand it off right up to the center, or you can hold it, flip it out to this guy here. You can see uh, you typically want to read that first defender, but because there's so much going on, I mean, I still made a play out of it. Um, but ultimately, you're reading that edge defender again. If he crashes, you don't want to hand it off. Like right here, he's crashing. Keep it with the quarterback as long as possible uh, before flipping it out. And uh, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be probably your biggest plays to the outside. Other than that, if, you're, if that defender hesitates, you can just hand it off. But you can see right there, he wasn't hesitating. So that's really the look you're looking for. Reading that, uh, that edge defender one more time. He said there, he's crashing on the running back. Just going to keep it as long as I can before pitching it out. Uh, you know, it can be it can be very explosive plays that can be had out of this. Next up, we got the triple option. Make sure you got a halfback, speed back at the fullback spot. So the safe run is handing it off right away, uh, but you're ultimately reading this guy right here. If he hesitates, he's going to uh, make the play a problem. If he crashes at the fullback, uh, that's when the when the play to the other side is going to be explosive. So like right there, he, he crashes. Um, you know, so basically that's uh, that's that's your best way of running it. Next up, we got the Blast Alert X Smoke. So, nothing really to do here, just another good inside run. You can see there's it angles to the sideline, uh, and it's definitely uh, some space. Uh, ultimately, sometimes you just have to cut, out, cut that off and treat it like a stretch run and take it outside. Uh, but it's a very consistent run. And if you see a cover three, a lot of times that smoke route is the better option. As you can see, it was wide open there as I get blasted. Um, it's hard to run these RPOs, I'd say, when it comes to, um, you know, the, uh, with the, I mean, I'm really going to have an opportunity here against cover threes and off cover fours. That's going to be the only time really to run the smoke. Um, but it's a little bit hard to, to pull the ball out and get it to this, uh, to this guy before that edge defender just comes off and blasts me. Uh, but those are your best reads. Next up, we got the pistol strong eye wing, uh, stretch alert X looky. It's another play where I'm really not looking at the, uh, the receiver too much. I mean, this is something that I just find that these stretch alerts are just best to be used as stretch plays. Uh, I mean, you have the option, but I mean, if it's like a man coverage or something, maybe you want to utilize it. But ultimately, I mean, these stretch plays, these uh, RPOs are just really good run plays. If you want to, you can make this motion out. Like if you have a cover three look, it'll push that cornerback back. Uh, and then you'll get better blocking downfield. I don't know why my blocker turned around and blocked me, but you can see it pushes that defender back and it resets the safety. So motioning this guy out uh, is a good option pre-snap to, uh, to give yourself some space. Next up, we got the jet touch pass. I mean, this is going to be really good against man coverage. You know what I mean? If there's no, you got your speed receiver out here. If there's no uh, cornerback out here, 
uh, you're going to have a really easy play as I get lit up. Um, but the blocking is really good. You can see you got a lot of pulling blocking. So here we go once again. Any off coverage too is going to be a uh, very high rate of success. Um, I actually had the blocking set up perfectly there. I should have had a big run. Next up we got the Stretch Alert Dragon. It's another play. I mean, I'm pretty much just going to run this. Um, but to cover three like this looks, or this might be a man. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I wouldn't know until I motion this guy across. But let's, um, yes, it's definitely a man coverage. So the slant would work. Against cover three, the uh, the flare route would work. Or the little flat route there would work. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, especially against man, I would be running this because there's no cornerback out here. So that's going to be one of the better ways to go. Um, but you do have routes that are, are definitely good options. So cover three, the B route, X for man, and then ultimately I'm going to use this as a run play nine times out of ten anyway. Uh, if I can just get that edge. I mean, it's tough when you got Jamal Adams on the edge, <laughs> but normally it's going to be a lot more successful. So here it looks like we have a shift to a cover three. Uh, like I said, I can definitely go uh, with that B route. And then for whatever reason, they shot inside, making this a really big play. So definitely something to watch out for. Next up, we got the triple option. It's another play. Uh, I mean, you can go either way with this. Um, you got a good inside run. That can be an outside run. I mean, you can really take that wide if it's there. Uh, but ultimately, once again, we're here. We got a man coverage. So flipping it out is going to be the best way to go. There's nothing really out here. Uh, should have held a little bit longer with Wentz, but you can see some really good plays um, to be had. Here's another one. Man coverage. Uh, like I said, if he follows especially. Uh, and getting it out quicker, quick as possible is probably the best way to go. Um, keep getting tackled by... Uh, by that by a bunch of ball labs, but ultimately it's a really strong run. So here we go one more time. Like I said, we're just gonna take away that guy. Wentz almost acted like a blocker there. Next up we have the halfback zone week. It's a good run play. Um, it's been a good run play for years. Uh, just as long as you don't have too much pressure coming in. You can see right there. I don't find it really takes any adjustments. Um, but it's uh, you can see right there. But it just kicks out that that guy just kicks out. You know these zone weeks are really strong, um, and, and the fact that you can do this with no adjustments is, is great. Uh, you can just line up and run it. But it's typically a hole there. Sometimes you just got to take it outside. Uh, I'm pretty much just hitting that hole by by habit. Um, but sometimes, like I said, right there is typically the hole. Sometimes though, you just have to take it wide to the left to go outside your tackle, uh, which I'm hoping to do here once or twice. Uh, it really depends on the spread of the alignment. You can see right there, it kicks them out. Super easy run. Next up, we got the PA crossers. So, this is a one play touchdown with no adjustments. I find that uh, putting the B route on a smart route will help it cross the field faster. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's about a 50 yard play. Uh, I'm about 55 yards away. Uh, which is why it didn't quite end up in the end zone. Against cover four, it's pretty much the same idea. Like I said you got good blocking. These 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 uh, you get running backs on both sides, um, for so it's something that uh, you can really make some big plays with. Uh, but yeah, I mean this is also a cover four one play touchdown. Um, the biggest issue is probably the 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 arm strength needed. Uh, but you can see, it, 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 you just you gotta you gotta get close to the line of scrimmage because not everybody has Patrick Mahomes' arm. Next up, we got the triple option. Make sure you put a uh, speed. I like to go with the speed back at this spot. This run play has been good for years. Uh, if you have this edge here from the start of the play, if that defender gets blown off the ball, you have an easy run to that side. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, if he gets in, then typically you want to go the other way. Accidentally, he didn't fucking hand it off. If he doesn't, if he gets free, like sometimes he'll just shoot right off the edge. Uh, it's not the best way to go, but it's a consistent run to both directions. Um, here, like I said, we have an extra defender on that side, so it's really a box count. I mean, you're just kind of reading, you know, do I have more defenders on the left or the right? Do I have an uncovered defender when it comes to blocking? So if I have, like, you know, an extra defender on the right, which I have here, I'm going to want to keep it and uh, pitch it to the, uh, to the running back. Fuck, man. So here, I mean, I have a, a box defender on the left, so obviously I want to keep it and go to the right. It's really that simple. Um, I can't really get past all these superstars, but I would have a big play touchdown pretty much every time, probably. 
Next up, we got the Halfback Blast Alert X Smoke. Another good run play. If it's a man coverage, you're probably going to want to treat this more like a uh, an outside run. Uh, as you can see, you just kind of run away from everybody. Uh, that's probably best against mans to, to keep to keep it that way. Um, here's another one. The, the, the cut, if the, if the, they start off tight and there's not a lot of space outside, that's going to be your best bet. Um, off coverages like cover three, cover four are going to be best to uh, throw it to the actual smoke. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the cornerbacks drop back. You get a one-on-one -on -one block. Uh, and that's going to be your best bet. So cover three, cover four, you can make the throw. Otherwise, it's best to just keep it. Next up, we get the halfback slam. It's another good run that might be, uh, make most sense to treat like an outside run. As you can see, I mean, the blocking is great. Uh, and you have a lot of really good um, looks considering that uh, it's an offset formation. So you essentially have a lot of um, a lot of blocking advantages throughout the gate. I'm flipping the play, by the way, um, because you can see right there. But yeah, you don't need to flip it. Like I say, you have a pretty good blocking advantage throughout the gate. Uh, the handoff is a little bit slower than I would prefer. That's about the only thing. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, Carson Wentz having to turn around. Uh, I would imagine with a different quarterback, it wouldn't be that problem. So if, if you have a quarterback that's, uh, that's, that's handing off with a different hand, it might be an even better, quicker run. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this is really an explosive carry. Against uh, man coverage or uh, a defense where there's nobody really out here, Against a man coverage or an off coverage, um, you know, you see right there, I mean, we have the, the, the outside defender crashing down on the running back. When they do that, you got to keep it with the, with the quarterback. Uh, if that outside defender stays humble like he does there, he stays home, uh, you got to get a hand to the running back. You're just going to get tackled when you try to go out with the quarterback. It's really that simple. It's a single read. We said right there, guy stays home, go the opposite direction, and we have a pretty big carry pretty much either way. Next up, we got the zone alert bubble. This play right here, it's another good, uh, another good. Uh, you know, these these RPO plays are so glitchy. Uh, I'm running against a three-four. You can just see how easy that was. Nothing but a huge hole. Um, if you have a cover three or cover four, like this looks like it's a cover a cover three. It's a perfect opportunity to hit that bubble. Uh, or if it's a smoke version, and I'll probably put this exact same link for the smoke version. Uh, it's going to be the same. Uh, if you got a guy coming down the box like that, though, it's probably not the best time to run it. Uh, but ultimately, a very good run, very good, uh, very good play. Next up, we got the zone alert smoke. If it's a cover three, the smoke is going. If it's a cover three, the smoke play is going to be uh, make the most sense. That's the only time you're going to throw it. Cover three, cover four. Otherwise, you're just going to run it. Uh, and it's a pretty consistent uh, run play. Um, it, you know, you just, it's just these inside runs and these RPOs are really the way to go this year. They're very consistent, and uh, the RPOs are pretty glitchy. Next, we have the halfback gut. This play, it, it's very similar to. Eh. This play is very similar to like a weak look, uh, but you can see, I mean, inside runs are really strong. Uh, and this is another really good one. I mean, you have so much blocking. A lot of times the defensive AI just seems to follow the blockers rather than the running back. Um, so, yeah, it's a good play. Like I said, right here, that's a that's a box look, a loaded box look, and I'm still having a lot of success. So, you know, there's nothing really to this. The gap's usually right in front of you. Uh, you Typically, you're going to want to take it to the edge the second you hit that hole nine times out of ten, unless the cornerback comes in and makes a play. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. All I'm going to do here is put the A route on a streak. That's all I really got to do, and it's going to be a good play against cover two uh, because the uh, the Y route is going to pull coverage down and the streak is going to pull coverage back. So really easy coverage two, or cover two play. Next up, we have the PA tight end slide. This play right here is a good cover three play 
Uh, the Y route will get open under the coverage. The A route's going to pull coverage back. You just get a nice catch and run. So make sure you got a speed back there. Against cover two, if you have a, a lot of space, um, you can motion this guy to the line, put him on a streak. You can see the spacing is really wide between the uh, the safety and the corner. Um, so, like I said, you need to run from the open side of the field, uh, but you can have a really big cover two play out of this route on the left here. You can see right there, nice pass lead, nice bullet pass lead to the outside, and you have a touchdown. So against cover three and cover four, the Y route's a good underneath route. Against cover two, the X route. Next up, we got the post shot. So this is a cover three, one play touchdown. I like to motion this guy out. You see it moves the safety. It's just going to make it easier for me to beat him. So I'm going to roll away from any pressure. Just wait till this guy crosses that free safety, and then you're going to see we got a really easy one play touchdown against cover three. It's going to work the same way against cover four. Against cover four, you don't have to make any any motions. Uh, that's not gonna gonna matter. So ultimately, you only really won't, I mean you don't. I don't think you really have to make the motion against cover three either, but against cover four, it definitely doesn't matter. So let's go and let's do this one more time. I said just wait for this guy to cross. I don't know if I got enough under that throw, but yeah, barely did. Next up, we got the four verticals. Against cover three. Uh, and cover two, motion out the B route, put the X route on a drag, block the running back. Uh, the drag's a good check down. Against cover three, the RB route will get open right in the seam. Uh, it's a pretty consistent play. Against cover two, uh, you're gonna motion, like I said, the motion here is gonna get open. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pick cover two. Uh, we can just change this up. If it's cover two, just streak uh, the RB route. That's all you really gotta do. So like I said, right here, B route gets outside of cover two. Uh, tight throw, bit, bit to the boundary. He didn't even catch it. We'll do it one more time. I said against cover two, you can motion snap him because if you let him get set all the way to the boundary, that's part of the problem as to why he uh, why he ran out of space. So like I said, right there, cover two, get outside. Cornerback trailing a little bit. I keep forgetting to put the drag. Uh, you have to, That's part of the reason that the drag is important against cover two. So we'll set that one more time. The drag will help pull that cover two safety down. So let's go and let's do that again. Either way, he's catching it. Next up, we got the halfback wham. Good inside run. I mean, it's a, it's a wham block play. Um, you can get some pretty big holes, although they typically open up to the left of where the diagram is showing. So, like right here, I mean, based on the fact that they're all packed in, that's going to make it a little bit difficult. You need a little bit more space. So, if it's a formation that you're throwing out of a lot and you get some spread looks kind of like this, uh, you should have some opportunity up front. But you can see, like, right there, like that hole was huge. As long as you could get the spread looks, because I hit random, if you can get some spread looks out of like nickel uh, normals and stuff like that, I mean, look at the size of the holes that are coming up here. It's absolutely insane. Like I said, tight formations taking away gaps gonna give it a problem uh, but you can see I mean the way that these blocks are moving around it's like a huge trap play so right here once again like I said this is gonna get shut down based off of all, all the all the all the gaps really nothing there uh, but it's a, it's a good play against spread looks you have lots of gaps next about the single back deuce close we got the bench so this play right here uh, the Y routes can typically beat cover threes outside. Uh, the X routes, you can dot that up against cover three, but it's more the X routes are more, uh, the receiving routes, I should say, are more cover two based. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick the Tampa two. Uh, you can make that even better. If you streak the Y route and motion across um, the, uh, the tight end here, um, and you just put him on like an out route or something like that. I mean, you can create bigger spacing for the X route against cover two uh, by, by dressing it up with these other routes. Uh, but it's a pretty decent cover two route by itself without any adjustments, really. And like I said, against cover three as well. I mean, you can dot this up against cover three, against cover four, that route will get open. Next up, we get the halfback stretch. So, just a good outside run, nothing really to it. Uh, typically, these uh, receivers do a pretty good job of setting the edge. It's going to be good against cover three, cover four, any off coverage, zone coverage that's going to be weak to the outside. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. 
All you got to do is put the A route on a streak. And the B route will be a good cover two play uh, to the outside. If you have a real fast uh, receiver, I mean, he could be going. Deshaun Jackson there had an opportunity. Uh, but if you want, if you really want the catch and run space, you got to run it to the open side of the field. Let's, go, let's do that one more time. So, like I said, right there. I mean, it's it's a big play. Next up, we get the PA misdirection. So against cover two, just streak the um, the Y route, put the A route on a drag, and it's going to be the best to get the uh, the X route open over the uh, over the top. Uh, you can get some good catch and runs out of this, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a one play touchdown. But it's definitely a good play. Next up, we have the PA X post cross against cover three, uh, cover one. You're going to have, I'm sorry, cover three, cover one, and cover four. You're going to have a one-play touchdown if you motion out uh, the Y route here. I'm sorry, not the Y route, uh, Rager, the uh, the X route. And you uh, you get a good throw, obviously. As you can see right there, he crosses the uh, crosses the uh, the safety, and it's a one-play touchdown. Against cover four, make that same motion. Like I say, you just can't be too far behind the line of scrimmage because it's a very deep throw. And then you can see how he's beating it over the top the same. Next up, we got the 0 1 trap. You can see these inside runs uh, are pretty consistent. Uh, it's just when you have a lot of movement on the inside, I don't know, the, the defense seems to be either at a disadvantage or lost. But you can see how consistent and how big this hole is uh, in the direction that I'm going. And I'm pretty much just going against random run defenses, but you can see, I mean, there's there's a pretty consistent hole from this pretty much every time. It's a big hole. Next up, we have the uh, Fade Smash. So against cover two, all you have to do is streak the, uh, the X route. And the Y route is going to be a very big play up the cover two uh, gap between the cornerback and the safety. It's really that simple. It's really only a cover two play this year. This is something that was a lot better last year. Next up, we got the Jet Sweep. It's a good trick play run to throw uh, into things. Um, you know. Good trick play run to throw your opponent every once in a while. Uh, it's best if... I mean, you got your fastest guy a lot of times getting the ball. Typically, the receivers, if you have a receiver faster than the running back, uh, you can get an explosive play out of it. So it's just something to, something to throw at your opponent to give him something to think about. Personally, I find jet sweeps are also very fun to run. Next up, we got the stretch alert bubble. This is a cover three or a cover four play. Uh, anything where um, they play off coverage. So I can run the ball against an off coverage and have success to the outside or I can throw the screen throw the bubble screen it just doesn't really matter if you run against cover three uh, which I don't actually I think I'm in right now if you run against cover three the Y route um, is is, uh, is, is going to be a good uh, like I said it's a good off coverage play uh, but ultimately if you're running into cover three you really have to go to the opposite side of the box safety or else you're going to run into trouble if you run into the box safety you're going to run into trouble if you throw the box safety you're going to run into trouble Next up, we got the Z post Y out. This play can home run cover three with no adjustments. Uh, you just need to buy time in the pocket, uh, which is probably the hardest part. Uh, and they also want to typically roll into, um, you know, roll in the direction of the throw. Uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as you bullet and pass lead away uh, from the safety. Next up, we got the halfback inside zone. another play because of the formation pulling it the way that it does um, you can really get some good inside runs uh, but you can also kick it outside I mean it's a really good outside run as well um, but you don't really need uh, you know like I said that that guard like that guard does a good job of holding the point of attack and then he gets does a good job of the by the time that you get there like he creates that lane like right there and then he also peels off so here, I mean, that cornerback or that receiver just blasted that cornerback to the background. So that's just a really good run altogether. Really consistent run. Next up, we got the stretch alert looky. Another good run play. 
Uh, I mean, I'm just using it as a stretch. I mean, not every playbook has a stretch. Uh, but this is something, I mean, I could flip the play if I want to go the opposite way, but ultimately, um, I'm just, like I said, this is just a good stretch play in my book. I'm, I'm not really going to throw it to the wideout too much. There's a chance you could throw an interception. I'm not doing that. Next up, we got the jet sweep. It's best against man because there won't be a cornerback out here, but you can see the way that that block pulls, it's not really going to matter. still a really good play. still a really consistent, successful play. Um, like I said, Goddard here, he just kind of kicks out it's in the diagram. Uh, normally, there I didn't really run the play too well. Uh, but like I said, very consistent. You get into your fastest guy, you get into the edge, uh, and you're going to have uh, good runs. Here's that man look I was talking about. Like I said, this is uh, the cornerback doesn't follow, so that's why um, it's so successful. There's no cornerback on the edge. But it's been consistent all three runs against no matter what, man or zone. Next up, we got the the PA CLX post. Next up, we got the PA fork. Against cover three, just, you know, block the RB route. Uh, give yourself a wall of blocking. I mean, you're just really just waiting for that X route to cross that safety. Uh, as you can see right there. So cover three, it's an easy one play touchdown with them crossing the field. You get excellent blocking if you block those tight ends. And uh, you're just going to, you know, get behind that wall of blockers and throw it up the alley once he crosses that free safety. You see, so we're basically hitting easy one-play touchdowns against cover three and cover four just by putting somebody on the block. You don't really have to block them either. I mean, it's just better to do that. Next up, we have the corner strike. Against cover three, you can really run it two ways. You can motion the running back out, put them both on the streak, him and the X route, and then streak the RB route. Uh, that's just to keep the safety over as much as possible. Uh, and then you can see once that cornerback bites on the um, on the corner route, you can throw the uh, the one play there, or you can just put them on a streak, uh, streak the Y route from from the backfield, motion snap the B route, and uh, it'll have a, a similar success. But as you can see here, I mean, this is all about the pass lead because the safety does come over more dramatically uh, in the second variation. So you really have to get a good pass lead for the second one to work. Next up, we got the verticals. Against cover three, just motion out Jackson here, and uh, the A route will get open in the seam. Typically, you want to safe catch because it's it's somewhat of a, it can be in a dangerous area. Um, I also like to drag the X route for a check down. It's going to work best against man coverages. Next up, we got the O1 trap. Just a good inside run play. Uh, you can see, I mean, this is, uh, you know, you get some pretty big holes. Uh, that's, uh, you know, just straight ahead. I mean, it's not, there's a little bit of a hesitation, but you can see, I mean, the the, the, the holes that you get to the outside are, are pretty, uh, pretty strong. So it's an inside run that you're typically going to take to the outside, to the right. Next up, we got the bench swap. So this player right here, I mean, you can run it just like this. It's a pretty good play. I'd say streak the A route would be best. The left side is more of a... Uh, you know, that's the side I'm typically going to focus on um, against like a cover three like this right here. Like you can see that routes gets outside even against a cover three. It's because the, the route on the right side, the B route, uh, is a little bit more dramatic. It's a little bit longer. As you can see, it's, it's about 12 yards deep compared to the X route, which is about um, even shorter. It's about uh, 10 yards deep. So that's why it's pulling the, the cover three dynamic to the right side. So really, if you, um, you know, no matter what the defense is, uh, this will be a good play. Like right here, I'm going against cover four. That X route's going to get outside the cover four really easily. Um, you know, just not a lot of space to the boundary. Uh, so it really doesn't matter. Cover two, cover three, cover four, the, the uh, same route's going to be open. Now, you can also motion over the tight end, put him on a streak. Uh, this will help against cover two only. If I can actually pick cover two, there we go. So against cover two, now we have a setup that will, um, it will have some positive effects and it'll help get this receiver open. I actually threw the ball late, but you can easily get some catch and run touchdowns against cover two doing that. Next up, we got the corner and goes. So this is, uh, we have two plays on the outside that are really going to be best against uh, cover one man. So I find it really doesn't matter, but whoever you want to try to get open or try to, um, try to beat you want to motion out and then basically it's just lobbing it up once he gets past them it's lobbing it up and sprinting to the ball 
You can also put them on a smart route and it'll create a shorter version of it. As you can see right here, I mean, it just creates more separation. So the smart route's probably even better. Next up, we got the Heisman option. So here's a scenario where I can, uh, I can hold the A button, get a good sweeping wide run to the left, or I could pitch it to the right. Next up, we got the PA wheel. So against uh, cover three, motion the running back over, and he gets a lot of separation in the flat, mostly because of the routes above him pulling coverage out. That should have that effect against just about any zone. Go ahead and we'll do it against cover two because it's gonna have the same effect. You wanna cancel the play action against cover two though. Against cover two, it's like really fast, so you gotta get it out there. You gotta get it out there quicker. I almost was up the sideline there, that's how that worked. Next, out of the gun split twins, we got the shovel option. This is a good play. If it's a man coverage, you want to run it. Or an off cover three like this one here appears to be. Um, but either way, if it's a man coverage, uh, cover three, cover four, it's going to be best to run to the pitch side here. Otherwise, if it's like a cover two or something, you probably just want to pitch it back. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good play. You can see there's really nothing out here. and I'm, I'm getting huge run plays to the, to the tight end. If I would have put a, a running back in, uh, it'd be even better. Next up, we got the PA deep outs. Against uh, cover four quarters, all you got to do is put the A route on a comeback. And you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one with the Y route here. Who, once he gets, you know, he's basically going to beat it pretty much every time. Because it's essentially a man coverage. I threw it a little bit early, but this is easily a one-play touchdown. Let's go ahead and let's do that one more time. Put the uh, four quarters active. Block the running back. I don't really need the play action. And then, like I said, we're just kind of waiting for him to... Get up the field, like I said, a little float, run underneath it, really easy one play touchdown against cover four quarters, cover four palms. Next up we got the PA cross shot for use against a lot of shit. Streak the A route, streak the Y route, and this is pretty much going to be the look no matter what defense you're running it against. Um, you're really just playing the high versus the low coming across, like we have cover three right here. You can see, I mean, that's going to, you know, that, that, that could really be gone up the seam. Uh, I also find that putting the X on a um, on a streak helps as well. Um, against, like I said, against like cover twos, that route might not necessarily be there as much. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's going to be pretty consistent. Here we got a cover two. Like I said, you can see it's pretty much. It's almost, you know, if I had more room, I could be catching and running this for for much bigger plays if I wanted to move the ball over. So against pretty much any zone, it's going to have that effect. That includes cover four, if I have that in the in here. Like I said, this is just, you know, usering ain't what it was. So this is something that you can run pretty consistently. So against cover four, um, you can do the same thing. Usering really isn't, uh, isn't really what it was. You can see it there. That's going to take a tight throw, though. So now we got that cover through look one more time. And like I said, I mean, that cornerback's just sitting back. Not really something you're going to get going a lot to get with, but it's a really big play. Next up, we got the dagger. Streak the A route, put the Y route, a drag. Maybe block the running back. You don't really need him doing that. And uh, ultimately, against pretty much any man or zone, this B route or this Y route, is going to be open for a big play, a chunk play. You're typically not going to turn up for a touchdown. Uh, only cover four gives that last, that last cover four corner will give that route problems. Other than that, I mean, it's going to be very successful against man. Um, this is, you know, giving that the, it's hard to uh, to use or control anything. As you can see right here, I mean, this is definitely going to be going against man, although I just, you got to float it against man. I probably could have bolted that and turned up, uh, but that's definitely one of the better man plays. This gun was running against man one more time. Should have, blocked my, should have been blocking my running back pretty much every time, but I didn't do that. So like I said, right here, good crossing route against man. Can definitely get go, get ghost against man coverages with that. Next up, we got the halfback toss. So here's a run where, um, you know, it's it's a good outside run. I mean, you can see how the, you have two pulling, uh, two pulling blockers 
Uh, one of which did a really good job of getting on that corner on the last play. Uh, but they can be a bit spotty. But if, they, if you lead them right, if they get a, if they get a hold of their guy uh, well enough, you're typically going to get a good run out of this. So not a lot of toss plays I can say that about. There you can see he just goes right inside. He's faster than the lineman. So he goes right inside the lineman. That's the, the issue when it comes to these tossing plays is a lot of times they can really elude the blockers. But when they do hit, they hit good. As you can see right there, we get another big run. Next up, we got the fullback dive. Make sure you have a running back at the fullback spot. It's another inside run. It's going to be best against plays like cover twos where there's less safeties in the box. Uh, that's why I want you, I mean, I have a speed guy at fullback. A lot of people like a power guy. Uh, bottom line is just follow the blocks. You can see there's a hellacious hole. Even though I'm not necessarily busting through it for huge runs, you can see it's there. I'll go to the replay real quick if you didn't see that. But it's just the way that this particular... Uh, play just blows this hole open. Look at the size of that. I mean, it, it's not, I mean, I didn't get, you know, I'll, like through it and big, but it's like, I mean, I'm getting five to seven yards before there's anybody even close. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.